this video a super easy recipe to cut creatinine in half. A vitamin that slows down kidney disease by more than 40%. And a way to solve the biggest issues CKD patients are facing. And more. Actually, I have 10 tips, 10 incredibly small changes in the renal diet that will produce the biggest results in terms of lowered creatinine levels. Catherine here, I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for more than a decade now. And let me tell you, there is one undeniable truth I've learned during these years. Your diet plays a pivotal role in boosting kidney function and slashing your creatinine levels. At the point that even stage five patients have been able to lower their creatinine levels when they were given the right advice. And that's exactly what I want to do today. These are the 10 best tips that can make a huge difference when it comes to lowering creatinine levels. Imagine tip number one as the low hanging fruit of kidney health. A tip so simple, even your pet goldfish could follow it. Because following the right diet is like giving your kidneys a well-deserved spa day. And that's what we are going to focus on today. Easy ways to cut your creatinine levels. So are you ready to uncover the 10 smallest changes in your renal diet that can yield the biggest results? all backed by the power of science? Let's start immediately. Number 10, drink garlic tea first thing in the morning. This is a 100% natural tea made from ingredients you probably already have in your pantry. Yeah, I told you these tips were gonna be easy. And yet the kidney protecting properties it boasts are powerful because it's made with garlic. And you want to use fresh garlic for this recipe and to mince it about 10 minutes before starting to prepare the tea. Garlic has amazing kidney protecting benefits. It can lower your blood pressure by 11 over 5 millimeters of mercury. It helps with blood sugar levels and when mixed with lemon, it may even help with cholesterol levels. And let's also add fresh ginger. This is around 3 or 4 grams. Ginger will make the taste of garlic less noticeable and will also protect your kidneys. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. Now we need three fresh lemons. Let's choose them very quickly. Lemon is one of the most alkalizing foods on earth and it's also a powerful kidney detoxifier. Last ingredient is Cinnamon, great for those with diabetes. This spice has the confirmed property of improving insulin sensitivity. And last, let's add some water and bring it to a slow boil. Our tea is ready. Drink it during the day to maximize the benefits. I mean, can it get any easier? This tea is probably one of the fastest and most effective ways of protecting your kidneys. And I have nine more super easy and super effective tips like this one for you today. Just like our number nine, this is a super easy way to protect the kidneys by sleeping better. Eat a banana before going to bed. You know, bananas are a true delight and guess what? The ban on high potassium fruits has been lifted. So it's time for everyone to savor them once more. But hold on to your seats because here's the twist. You can make these delicious fruits even healthier by having one before bedtime. Now, why on earth should you snack on a banana right before tucking yourself in? Well, my friends, bananas are not just bursting with antioxidants and phytonutrients. Bananas are among the select few fruits that contain a decent amount of the nerve messenger serotonin. Yeah, that's why many people love eating bananas so much. It's not the potassium, it's the serotonin. And you know what? Our body converts some serotonin into melatonin, the sleep hormone. 
So consider eating a banana before bed also because sleeping more is proven to help protect the kidney, says science. And guys, if you think this video is interesting, don't forget to give it a like and maybe to share it with a friend. And what if your doctor actually told you to limit potassium intake? Well, my friends, it might be time for your doctor to go on a little potassium hunt elsewhere or perhaps it's time for you to seek a new doc. Yeah, I'm not the one saying this. This comes from the current guideline for the renal diet. More about this in my video up here and also down in the description. Next tip, number 8. In order to fight diabetes, take advantage of bitter melon. If you have diabetes, eating the right foods, those that won't spike your sugar levels, is key to protect your kidneys. But what about those foods that will actively help you fight diabetes by improving the way sugar is used in the tissue and increasing insulin sensitivity? Well, there is very promising foods option that seems to do just that. Peter Melon, also known as Ampalaya in the Philippines. This unsung hero of the produce aisle is the true game changer. Peter Melon is super easy to find in Asian markets and it has a long history as a natural diabetes treatment. And there is a 2018 study published in the Journal of Medicinal Foods supporting the kidney protecting benefits of this fruit. Diabetes patients who took 2000 mg of bitter melon daily not just had a significant decrease in body weight and in HbA1c levels as we can see here. They also protected their kidney function. In fact, their creatinine didn't increase during the study while that of diabetes patients who weren't taking bitter melon did. Yes, eating this one before meals can make a serious difference with diabetes and kidney disease. And it proves once again that the diet is your best ally against kidney disease. Speaking of which, let's take a look now at another very small change to your diet that could produce an incredible result. This is something I recommend everyone, by the way, not just those with diabetes. Number 7. Eat one or two Brazil nuts every morning. Brazil nuts are super tasty and having a small amount of healthy fats at breakfast is always a good idea. But the reason why I'm recommending consuming just one or two Brazil nuts every day is another. Selenium. Selenium is a mineral that's been used to fight kidney disease in medical literature. But how can a single mineral help with kidney disease? Well, because a deficiency in this mineral, which is pretty common actually, is considered a cause of kidney damage. Even more interesting, correcting this deficiency has been observed to directly boost kidney health. In this placebo-controlled trial, those supplementing selenium as well as CoQ10 for 48 months had a huge improvement in kidney function. As we can see here, a whopping 14 points improvement in GFR. So yeah, consider adding Brazil nuts to your diet, but no more than one or two per day. Keep in mind that Brazil nuts are very rich in selenium. The daily selenium target or RDI can be achieved with just two Brazil nuts and you don't want to get more than that. Our number six now, this tip is aimed at filling another nutritional gap. A deficiency that's not just linked to worse kidney health but also to diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure and metabolic disease. I'm talking about dietary fiber. Fact. Kidney disease sufferers are supposed to eat, on average, 25 to 38 grams of fiber per day. Very few of them do that, unfortunately. For your kidneys, that's a lot worse than people realize. Here's why. The main challenge of living with kidney disease is dealing with the accumulation of uremic toxins in your blood. These are harmful substances such as creatinine, urea and nitrogen that cause the symptoms of kidney failure. And there are two main ways for the body to get rid of this course, the kidneys and the gut. And if your kidneys are impaired, you must make sure you are not impairing your gut too by eating too little fiber every day. And the impact of eating fiber on protecting the kidneys from uremic toxins is way bigger than we believed. A large meta-analysis found out that kidney disease patients who supplement in dietary fiber had significantly lower levels of uremic toxins such as blood urea nitrogen, uric acid and more as we can see here.
This is part of the reason why you should focus on eating more fiber-rich foods such as fruit and veggies. And you may supplement fiber as well. Yes, here's a simple tip that can have a huge positive impact on kidney health. I always recommend considering a fiber supplement such as psyllium husk or acacia fiber to make 100% sure you are getting enough fiber every day. If you want to try a supplement, there is a link in description. Up next, our number five, cannot talk about supplements without mentioning a couple of vitamins. In a recent trial, 15,104 CKD patients in stage three and four were able to delay dialysis by several years by adding just one vitamin to their regimen. There is a vitamin that should always be taken by anyone who is taking an ACE inhibitor, very common blood pressure medication. I'm talking about folic acid or vitamin B9. When this vitamin was administered in combination with an ACE inhibitor, an incredible result was obtained. Those who received the vitamin were able to benefit from a 44% lower decline in renal function compared to those who didn't. And that's huge, and it means they were able to delay dialysis by years, just thanks to a single vitamin. So always make sure you are getting enough vitamins of the B group, especially if you are taking a blood pressure medication or if your homocysteine levels are too high. 0.8 mg a day of folic acid were used in 15,104 patients to slow down CKD by 44%. Another vitamin you should always make sure you are not low on. Number four, use vitamin D to fight proteinuria. Proteinuria levels is something all CKD patients should be aware of. If this level is too high, it means kidney function is going to decline fast. Up to 90% of kidney disease patients have low levels of this vitamin and that can contribute to kidney damage and proteinuria. Now some good news, supplementing vitamin D may result in a very fast improvement in proteinuria levels. In a recent placebo-controlled trial, kidney disease patients who were administered 2 micrograms of paracalcitol, a vitamin D analog, were able to see a huge drop in proteinuria levels, 34% after a very short amount of time. And guys, if you want to learn more about how to make sure your proteinuria is under control, this video up here is for you. Up next, we are in the top three now. Some powerful ways to lower your creatinine are coming. What we're going to see now is a way to decrease the absorption of a mineral that's considered by modern science a huge issue for people with kidney disease, a huge cause of kidney damage. No, I'm not talking about potassium. I'm talking about... Number three, use thumbs to control phosphorus. Many studies are confirming that phosphorus is a dangerous uremic toxin and that higher intakes are linked to a faster decline in kidney function. And while the whole renal diet revolves around limiting the intake of this mineral today, for some patients, it's still difficult to keep blood phosphorus levels under control. So what can you do to protect your kidneys and your heart from this toxin? Other than following a low-protein diet, which is key, also to protect the kidneys from phosphorus, consider using a phosphate binder. Calcium carbonate binders are the most widely prescribed and you can also get them from the supermarket shelves, sold as thumbs. Up next, another tip that helps with the core, the foundation of the renal diet. Number two, consider low-protein staple foods. Staple foods are those foods we base our diets on. For people with kidney disease, there is no doubt that grains and other carb sources should be the cornerstone of the diet. Unfortunately, most carb sources such as rice, pasta and bread are also protein sources. Not just that, but it's also low biological value protein we are talking about. Something that most renal dietitians are now suggesting kidney patients to limit. And a way to solve this issue is by relying on low-protein staple foods. What are low-protein staple foods? Foods such as zero-protein pasta, rice, and bread that contain almost no protein have been used in countries such as Italy and Japan for decades now to help kidney disease patients limit their protein intake. And now these foods are finally making their way to many other countries. They will be a great help solving the number one problem for people with kidney disease. 
This tip is going to help you solve the biggest obstacle on the road to a better kidney health. According to a recent study, most kidney disease patients cannot lower their creatinine levels for a simple reason that we can see here. So if you are doing everything you can to lower your creatinine but nothing seems to work, the reason may be that you are not, number one, make 100% sure you are not getting too much protein. Excess protein intake is the number one cause of kidney disease progression in people with CKD, says this paper published in the BMC Nephrology. According to this study, even patients under the strict guidance of a dietitian cannot keep their protein intake low enough. And this is a sure way to make kidney disease progress faster. I mean, there is no improving if you don't stay below your prescribed protein intake every day. What to do then? Watch my video about this issue. It's up here in notes down in the description. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.